Hello everyone, for today I will be discussing about permutation. When we say permutation, it is the term that refers to a total number of ways by which an item may be arranged in a definite order. In addition, when we say permutation, it is the arrangement of an object in a definite order. The numbers of elements or sets are arranged here in a sequence or in a linear order. Number one, where there are n items to be arranged all at a time, and where none of these items are repeated. The number of permutations is computed by taking n exclamation point, wherein this n can be read this one as n factorial. To take the n factorial means to multiply. For example, we have 5 factorial. So we, can, we will multiply 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 20 times 3 is equal to 60. 60 times 2 is equal to 120. 120 times 1 is equal to 120. So we have a 5 factorial is equal to 120. So here we have a formula for permutation. NP, N is equal to N factorial. Wherein this lip subscript N, this is the total number of items. While the right subscript N, it is the total items taken at a time. So I have an example here. If the letters A, B, and C were arranged such that all the three letters are taken at a time, the total number of ways by which they can be arranged is. So as you notice, we have a three letter. So 3, P3 equals to 3 factorial. So we all know that 3 factorial is equals to 6 because 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2 is equals to 6. 6 times 1 is equals to 6. So after that, let us enumerate those arrangements R. So the first arrangement is ABC and then ACB, BCA, BAC, CBA, and CAB. So as you notice, there are six sample points in the three sample space of three letters are arranged at three at a time. So in this juncture, I'll proceed to number two. This number two is where there are n items taken R at a time with no items are repeated. The number of permutation is computed through the following formula. So it is the formula n factorial all over the total number of items minus number of items taken at a time. So this n, it is the total number of items. After that, this r, it is the number of items taken at a time. Then factorial. So in number two, I have an example here. Let us use the letters a, b, c again. But this time, instead na 3 yung gagamitin natin sa number of items taken at a time, we will change here into 2. So, our number of items taken at a time is 2. The possible arrangements would be, so our right side or the right subscript n, we will change it into 2. Then, our the left subscript is 3. Is equals to 3 factorial all over 3 minus 2 factorial. So, 3 factorial, it is equals to 6 because we all know that 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. All over 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 factorial. So, 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6 all over 1. So, our answer here is 6. So, which means we have a 6 arrangements here. So, we will list down all those arrangements. We have first arrangement is AB. Next is AC. The third one is BC. The fourth one is BA, the fifth one is CA, the last one arrangement is CB. So as you notice, there will be the six sample points in a sample space of three letters arranged into two at a time. Now, I will proceed in number three, where there are n items taken all at a time, but where some of these items are repeated. So the formula that can be used are n factorial all over n factorial and n2 factorial and nk factorial wherein this n1 n2 and nk are refers to the number of times each items is repeated so the subscript of n is indicated as the order of an items wherein this n1 n2 and nk is equals to n or it is the number or the total number of items 
For example, if we want to find out the total number of ways we may arrange the letters of the word church. So, as you notice, there is two pieces of C. These two pieces of C serves as N1, which is 2 factorial. So, next, we have letter H, which is we have two pieces of H. So, that is 2 factorial also. That serves as N2. The third letter, which is U, that is only one from the word church. So, that is 1 factorial. That is our N3. The fourth letters, which is R, from the word church is only 1. Therefore, that is 1 factorial. After that, we need to use the formula. So, 6P6 six is equals to 6 factorial, which means for 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, that is equals to 720. So, our denominator here, which is our N1, N2, N3, N4. Our N1 is 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1. The second, the N2 is equals to 2 factorial, which is also 2 times 1. The N factorial, it is 1 times 1 factorial for the N4. So, simplify. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all over 2 times 1 times 2 times 1 times 1 times 1. So, that is equals to 740 all over 4. So, 720 divided by 4 is equals to 180. Another example, in how many ways may two girls and two boys be arranged in a row of 4 sets? The total number of ways would be 4 factorial because 2 girls and 2 boys. So, that is 4. All over the 2 factorial which is the 2 girls. And then the N2 is... 2 also because we have 2 boys. So, to simplify, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, it is equals to 12 times 2 is equals to 24. So, our denominator, which is 2 factorial, it is equals to 2 times 1 equals 2. Then, the 2 factorial for N2, it is equals to 2 times 1. So, 4 factorial, it is equals to 24. All over... 2 times 1 is equals to 2, 2 times 2 equals to 4, times 1 or over 2, 4. So, 24 divided by 4 is equals to 6. So, the arrangements would be boy, boy, girl, girl, boy, girl, girl, boy. And then the third arrangement is boy, girl, boy, girl. The fourth arrangement is girl, girl, boy, boy. And then the fifth arrangement is girl boy boy girl and then the last arrangement is girl boy girl boy so that is the ex last example of permutation so that is the end of my presentation and report thank you for listening